At least 442 reporters reported losing their White House hard pass credentials. That's more than 30 percent cut of journalists under the administration's new restrictions for the media. Our next guest has been critical of the White House's treatment of the press. He's Fox News contributor Joe Concha, and he joins us now. Hey, Joe, what do you make of this extreme reduction in the White House uh, press? Well, it's disturbing, but not surprising, Will. This is the least accessible president of our lifetimes. This is the least transparent administration of our lifetimes. Joe Biden has held zero solo press conferences on U.S. soil since last November. Think about that. You could take a baby to full term nine months before this president has stood in front of reporters at that White House and has taken questions for an extended period of time. And look, when you compare this to Donald Trump, Trump held 35 solo press conferences in his final year. But when I say it's not surprising, during the Obama-Biden administration, they rejected more FOIA requests, that's Freedom of Information requests, than any other administration in history. They secretly seized the phone records of AP reporters. They spied on a former Fox correspondent in James Rosen. Eric Holder, the attorney general at the time, only said he regretted doing that years later. So this is how it works with this administration. Democrats and this, this administration have a disdain for the First Amendment in general. And this latest taking away of hard press passes uh, mm -hmm. is just another exhibit of that, Will. Here's what the White House is saying, Joe, to Politico defending its policy. They say, we think this demonstrates we've led a thoughtful and thorough process that preserves robust media access to campus for everyone who needs it, whether that be a hard pass or a day pass. Um, the hard pass, Joe, explain, explain that to the audience, if you would. Like, what have they done here? What's the effect of what the White House's policy has done? Sure. A hard pass gets you uh, onto the White House without having to request a temporary daily pass uh, over and over again. So when you take away that hard pass, then any time a, a reporter that doesn't have that has to request that they want to be on campus, as, is the way they put it. But when you look at this administration, Will, basically never judge them by their words, always judge them by their actions. And to reduce this number of hard passes just tells you that this is all by design. They want the focus to be primarily on Donald Trump and his legal problems going into 2024 as all those trials uh, go on from now until that time and take the focus off of this president, take him off the grid as much as possible in terms of answering questions around his handling of the economy, the border, uh, obviously education, crime, his stance or limp stance towards China. All those things go off the table because if Joe Biden isn't seen, it all goes back to Donald Trump and the media and the Department of Justice is more than willing to move that focus there, Will. All right, Joe Concha, always great to talk to you. Thanks, Joe. Happy Friendship Day, by the way. I, if I had any friends, they would tell you I'm a nice guy, but uh, I'm, it seems like you're enjoying it. I'm Lisa your Pete, friend, so Joe. Thank I'm you your that. friend, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.